a very good morning, good afternoon, good night, whenever you will watch this video. So today our topic is steam stop valve. So over here I have drawn this axial view of your steam stop valve and that steam stop valve is a mounting of boiler. So in this video you will find out about the, the use of steam stop valve, its a construction, its working principle, each and everything which is related with that steam stop valve. So without wasting any time, let us start this video. I hope you are ready with your pen and paper so that you can note down the important points. Now supposing question will be asked in your examination that uh, explain the working principle of steam stop valve then how you will start to write. So first of all this type of figure you will draw and after that a uh, few statement you will write initially how you will write that first of all what you will say that that steam stop valve is located at the top side of the boiler. So over here if I want to draw the boiler supposing that is your boiler which is which type of boiler which is your horizontal axis boiler. So that is a horizontal axis boiler and that valve is located at the top side of the boiler or you can say in the steam portion because in that portion steam is present and below that steam water is present. After that what you will write that its use as the name suggests steam stop valve that means this steam stop valve will do what it will stop the steam. So over here as you can see that over here boiler is present and above that boiler that valve is located. So whatever steam will come from the boiler that steam will be stopped by this valve. And also another use is what that when we will rotate this handle so what happens that valve will be lifted. So over here valve will be lifted so some passage you can see over here some passage is there. So from that passage your steam will try to escape and that steam is further transferred to the required places. So two functions are there for the steam stop valve which one first of all it will stop the steam and then next is what it will transfer the steam when wherever it is required. After that we will start with the construction. So in construction which thing you can write that first of all you will talk about the flange. So it has one flange. Now flange means what? So flange is nothing but one type of a circular disc so that is your flange. And over here one hole is provided and over here your valve is located that is your steam stop valve and that flange is present on the top surface of the boiler. So I will say that that is your top surface of the boiler over here steam is present and over here water is present. Now that flange has certain holes this type of holes flange has certain holes through that holes you will pass the nuts and bolts so that with the help of this flange that steam stop valve can be fit on this boiler shell. So first of all what we will say that it has one flange with the help of a flange that steam stop valve is located on the boiler with the help of nuts and bolts. After that it has one valve so that is your dark portion is your valve that dark portion I have shown. So that is your valve, that valve is made with the help of brass material. After that on the side of this valve you can say that is your valve sheet. Over here also one valve sheet is there. That valve sheet you can see over here that is your valve sheet. Now valve, valve sheet is also made with the help of a brass material. Your original valve will stay or will take rest on this valve sheet. That means over here that is your valve and that valve will be present or valve will take rest or valve will stay on the valve sheet. Now over here one question may arise that uh, why valve and valve sheets are made with the help of brass material. So answer is what that as you know that from this inlet steam will enter that means right now steam is present and as in this steam water particles are also present you can say uh, water particles in the form of vapor are present so that water will do what it may occur some corrosion on this valves and valve sheet. So to avoid the corrosion of your valve and valve sheet it is made with the help of a brass material because brass is a anti-corrosive material so that life of this valve is more. After that that valve is connected with one spindle so over here I have written one spindle. Now that spindle is connected with one handle wheel so that is your handle wheel. 
Now if you rotate the spindle, so what's happen? That uh, spindle may reciprocate or you can say spindle may oscillate or spindle will move in the upward and downward direction. So that means that the handle will convert the rotary motion into a oscillatory motion or you can say reciprocating motion. So that spindle will, if you will rotate, so that spindle will move in the upward direction. So over here some passage will be created, over here some passage may be created. After that, as the length of the uh, spindle is very much long, so to support some length of the spindle, over here we are using one yoke and the over here pillar. These are the pillars and that is your yoke. Now yoke will do what? That it will support some length of the spindle so that misalignment is not present. Over here pillar means what? It is one type of bolt you can say or one type of stud you can say. Now below that yoke, this dark portion is known as gland. Now gland is used for used for what purpose? That it will uh, avoid the steam leakage from this uh, steam stop valve. After that, this uh, sectional line I have shown for the valve body, so that whole thing is known as valve body, which is made with the help of cast iron material. So that is all about the construction. Now in working principle, what we can say that. Uh, when from the inlet, so that is your inlet from the boiler. So when from the inlet steam will enter in steam stop valve. So what's happened? Right now that valve is closed. So no passage is present. So when steam will enter inside of the steam stop valve. So that steam stop valve will not allow the steam to escape from the boiler. That steam, that steam will remain inside of the boiler because that valve is closed. Now when you will rotate the handle, so at that time the spindle will move in the upper direction over here I have shown, so that some passage will be created between the valve sheet and the valve. So from this passage what happens now, steam will escape and that steam will be given to the required places by using this outlet. Now when steam, that valve is open, at that time in this passage also some steam is present. So there may be a chance with the help of this minor gap between the body and the spindle steam will try to escape but we have used the gland so gland will do what it will avoid the leakage of the steam uh, from the boiler or from this steam stop valve. So this is all about the uh, steam stop valve. We, I would like to end this video. We will meet once again in a new video with new topic which may be pro most probably your feedback one. So till then, read hard, work hard. Thank you very much.